Hello and welcome to Improp tutorial. In this tutorial we will um, review the first use of the Improp. Uh, so we just uh, freshly installed TF Companion software, connected the uh, USB and power, switch on, and we start the software. Uh, so there's uh, two default users, admin HDW and administrator. We want uh, admin HDW. Uh, this is the user uh, that will uh, connect us to uh, hardware. Another user administrator is for standalone version. Uh, then you use it without the hardware just for analyzing the data offline. So the password is PSW default and you can create uh, uh, separate users and passwords. It will take about 5-10 seconds to configure the system and connect to the hardware. So, um, so okay, we have a, we have a signal here. Uh, so uh, intensity already set automatically uh, to uh, to the value which was determined during the test. We can we can adjust it uh, if we want to. But the first thing we want to do is to adjust the uh, focusing lens. Uh, to their correct position, to the focal position, so we have maximum intensity. Uh, so it's uh, quite straightforward. Okay, so we have uh, maximum intensity here. Um, the properties are already set to default value to 10 milliseconds. Also, they were set about uh, during the test of the system, and they are stored in, um, in the system memory. Um, so um, so now what we need to do first is to calibrate the system or take a baseline as we call it. Uh, so um, so in, um, in 4.5 version of software there is a separate uh, option to take baseline explicitly. We can also create a, a uh, create a calibration for different configurations. So we'll just uh, take a baseline for default configuration. Uh, we have our silicon wafer. Uh, set on the stage, so um, so it measured the silicon wafer, and now we need to put a black pad to measure the duct current. Uh, okay, and he here we have a calibration all done. So if we look at that, uh, the blue line is actual uh, intensity of the signal across the different wavelengths. And red line is um, uh, reflectivity of the silicon. So we have a mapping between the intensity and, um, and known reflectivity, which give us ability to measure absolute reflectance. So now we can put a test sample, our test sample, 200 nanometers oxide, and measure it. Okay, so we have 201.7 nanometers. Um, so um, let's uh, measure several points on the wafer just to see what's the distribution. It's not exactly the same across all the wafer. It can be a little bit different. Okay, another measurement. Another one. So now we can look at the measurement history. So basically we have all this measurement here uh, shown. Um, now, because it was the first use, we can also look at the actual recipe. So this is our measurement recipe. We measure from 450 to 1000 nanometers. And um, during the system configuration, the um, uh, recipe was adjusted uh, to fit exactly to the spectrometer, to the pixel of spectrometer. So we don't need to do anything here. Uh, if we want to change uh, 
the our calibration film stack it was by default set here so it's silicon bare we can set any other film stack we want for example quartz or aluminum if we need to um, um, that's pretty much uh, all we need to do for their for their first uh, measurement when we just set up the system install the software and start measurement everything is uh, uh, done during the all the configuration is done during the uh, software startup um, and all we need to do is um, adjust the uh, the focusing lens uh, take a baseline and do the measurement that's it thank you for tuning in and uh, we'll explore other details uh, in the next tutorial Thank you for listening.